So Black Friday 2019 is nearly upon us and it, it's the craziest shopping day of the year. I don't partake in Black Friday stuff, but I know a lot of people like to get out there with the crowds and find the best deals in video gaming. But what if you want to sort of just know what sort of location you want to go to? You want to pinpoint where the best Nintendo Switch deals are going to be available? Well, I mean, that's where I come into play. In today's video, we're going to highlight the best deals at all three major retailers when it comes to Nintendo Switch games, where you'll want to spend your time and where you might actually want to go to instead of going to other stores to get your best deals for Black Friday games. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the best Black Friday deals for the Nintendo Switch in 2019. Now to kick things off a couple days ago on the channel, we actually talked about Nintendo revealing some deals that will be available at all major retailers. This includes places like Amazon and GameStop because unfortunately, GameStop has not put out their Black Friday ad. I'm pretty sure they did this last year too, where I was waiting and waiting to make this video for Black Friday 2018, but GameStop just never released their ad. So unfortunately, GameStop will not be covered in this video, but these deals are applicable to GameStop as they are available at all major retailers and they are as follows. If you're in the market for a Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch will be available with a free copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a digital version of the game, and it will be available for $300. Now, the unfortunate thing about this Nintendo Switch bundle is this is actually the older Nintendo Switch model that has the older battery in it. It is not the new battery model. So really, there's not many console deals that are out there right now for the Nintendo Switch. There is that one that we talked about yesterday on the channel, talking about Walmart having one on December 3rd that I think is a lot better than this. But yeah, if you're looking for a Nintendo Switch, there's not really much out there. The Nintendo Switch Lite is going to be $200 everywhere. I could see it selling very well, though. There will also be $60 Joy-Cons available at all major retailers, so if you need an additional set of Joy-Cons, or you just want to replace the Joy-Cons you have, that is a good value. And the following games will be available for $40 at all major retailers. They include Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Party, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Mario Tennis Aces, Kirby Star Allies, Octopath Traveler, and Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. Now, some of these games are actually going to be cheaper at other retailers, so don't go rushing out there to just any retailer because they have, you know, Super Mario Odyssey for $40 or Breath of the Wild for $40 because we'll see later in the video that some of these games are cheaper at other retailers. Now, games that are not cheaper at other retailers are games like Octopath Traveler and Wolfenstein 2. So if you're looking for those games, you can get them pretty much anywhere. So, you know, you don't have to worry about what store you want to go to. But like I said, we're going to highlight the three major retailers, those being Best Buy, Target, and Walmart. First off, we're going to talk about Best Buy because admittedly, Best Buy is kind of soft this year, which is kind of surprising. So the best deals going on at Best Buy are as follows. We have select wired PDP controllers available for $15. I actually have one of these controllers, the Super Mario Odyssey one, and it's a pretty decent controller. Not nearly as good as the Pro Controller, but at $15, you can't go wrong for it. And the cheapest games that they have available at Best Buy that are not cheaper at other retailers are as follows. All of the games are going to be $20 that we mentioned. Rocket League Ultimate Edition, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Star Wars Pinball, Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, and Friday the 13th. So a lot of good budget games there. They did fix Bloodstain with a performance patch so that it does run better on the Nintendo Switch now, better than when I first reviewed it. Star Wars Pinball, I actually thought was a really fun game. I'm not even a huge Star Wars fan and I still enjoyed it. Friday the 13th is of course an absolute classic. If you get one game from Best Buy, it definitely needs to be Friday the 13th. But I think the star of this show is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair at $20 because that game came out on the Nintendo Switch, it got really good reviews, but the physical edition, I believe, was $40. So to pick that up for 20 bucks, that's a really good deal. But those are the best prices that Best Buy has. There are some other games that they have available on sale, but they are cheaper at other retailers. So I want to direct you guys to those other retailers. Next up, we're going to talk about Target because Target actually has some pretty good deals going on and some games that you might be interested in. Target is kicking things off with a $30 doorbuster sale, meaning that first come, first serve, it happens at the start of the day, and you got to get in there to get these games. And that is Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Mario Tennis Aces. So like I said, those games are gonna be marked down to $40 at all major retailers, but these three specific ones will be available at Target as a doorbuster for $30. I'm sure supplies will be a bit limited, but if you haven't picked up those three games yet, this is a great chance to do such. Now Target also has some decent games available at $25, those being Overwatch and Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. Those two games, of course, just recently came out. They're both $40 games. So 
you're getting $15 off those games. And I really enjoyed Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. It's not really a game for everyone or anything like that. But I think at $25, you're going to get some more people involved with this. Now, they actually have some really good deals at the $15 price range. They have Crash Team Racing, the Crash Insane Trilogy, Mario and Rabbids, and Overcooked 2. Now, I think Crash Team Racing is probably the star of that show. I know I'm not the biggest fan of that game. I did catch some backlash for that. But I think at $15, that's a great price. That's definitely a game that you should pick up at $15. I enjoyed the Crash Insane Trilogy as well. Mario and Rabbids is an absolute classic. If you don't have that, that's a great way to get it. And of course, Overcooked 2, sort of an overlooked game, but really fun local multiplayer. Target also has two more Nintendo Switch games at the $15 price point that I initially forgot to include, but after researching it again, I did want to come back and add it to this video, and that is Killer Queen Black and Disney's Aladdin and Lion King Dual Pack. Now, of course, the Aladdin and Lion King Dual Pack just came out. We talked about it on the channel. It normally retails for $30, so to see this already available for $15 is pretty impressive. Definitely a must-own, in my opinion, if you're a fan of these retro games, and definitely a great compilation of games, so I did want to mention those two $15 price deals as well. Now, the winner of Black Friday 2019, in my opinion, would have to be Walmart when it comes to deals because they have a ton of deals going on that we definitely need to talk about. So Walmart has the following games available at $30 a piece. And honestly, this is a very stacked list. I might actually have to try and fight some of the Walmart crowds to get some of these. So we have Splatoon 2 coming in at $30. We have Nino Kuni, Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Party, Super Mario Tennis Aces, and the Resident Evil Dual Pack consisting of Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil One. Now, of course, Resident Evil Zero is the only game available on the cartridge. You actually have a download code for Resident Evil One. But $30 for Nino Kuni, like that's that's the one game that I've seen on this list out of all these games that I'm definitely very interested in. I did not pick up that game because Dragon Quest XI came out at the same time, but I think at $30, I could definitely sink my teeth into that. Mario Tennis Aces as well. I still haven't picked up Mario Tennis Aces, but I know they have added in a bunch of additional content to that game. So $30, very good stuff here. They also have some solid games available at $25 as well. We have the Final Fantasy X X2 Dual Pack. We have Just Dance 2020. We have Final Fantasy 12: The Zodiac Age. We have Diablo 3. We have Overwatch, and we have Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now, a lot of these games I own and I played, and I think at $25, great deal. Diablo 3, that's a great price to get into. Obviously, it was a port of Diablo 3, but they did a very solid job with the game, and I feel like at $25, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Spyro Reignited Trilogy, I really enjoyed that game on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, you had to download portions of the game, but still, it's still a really solid game. The Final Fantasy games at $25 a piece, very, very reasonable, and of course, just Dance 2020 just came out. We, we did a video on it because you guys are sadistic and you met a like challenge. But yeah, you know, very good prices here. And then they actually have some games available. They have two games available for $20 that are definitely very solid games. We have Team Sonic Racing and Friday the 13th. So once again, Best Buy also has Friday the 13th at $20. But if you're going to Walmart, like you probably should be considering all these deals, you're probably better off going to that. And they have some $15 games that I felt worth mentioning as well. There's there's also a bunch of $15 games available at Walmart as well. You have LEGO DC Super Villains, you have LEGO Harry Potter Collection, LEGO Jurassic World, the LEGO Movie 2, you have Trials Rising Gold Edition, and you have Assassin's Creed 3. Now out of that list, I actually own a couple of those games. Um, LEGO Harry Potter was somewhat enjoyable for me. LEGO Jurassic World was absolutely awesome because I am a big fan of Jurassic Park. And of course, Assassin's Creed 3. I thought it was a really fun game. It's considered to be the worst Assassin's Creed game, but I'm not quite sure why. You of course get two games in that package as well. So $15 for those games is definitely a very, very great value. And I think Walmart is definitely gonna have to be the king of Black Friday deals for the Nintendo Switch this year. They have a lot of great games at $30, a lot of great games at $25, and a lot of great games at $15. So it looks like your buck is going to go furthest at Walmart. But of course, there are deals available at other retailers as well. All right, so those are the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the best deals available for Nintendo Switch games during Black Friday 2019. Now, I wanna know in the comments section down below what you think the best deals are. Do you think that Nino Kuni at $30 is the best deal? Like I do, because I think that's a really good price. Will you be picking up Friday the 13th so I can slaughter you online? I really hope you do, because it is a fun game. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Like I said, be sure to let me know in the comments if you plan on going out and getting involved in all the Black Friday hoopla. Me personally, I don't 
don't know, maybe I'll just see if I have any friends going out and partaking in that and I'll throw them some money to pick me up some games. Be sure to check out other videos on the channel. Like I said, Walmart is doing a Nintendo Switch bundle on December 3rd that is admittedly better than the one that they are doing right now. It'll be available for $300. It does have the new battery life Nintendo Switch model. It comes with a Nintendo Switch carrying case and red Joy-Cons along with a $20 eShop gift card. It'll be available on December 3rd. That's definitely the best value, I think, when it comes to Nintendo Switch consoles. And as always, guys, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.